Hello YouTubers. It is Friday, August 27, 2021, 1.14 p.m. Still Houston. Okay. Um, around this time I'm usually doing a little show and tell, showing you whatever I got as far as shipments are concerned, uh, inventory, and uh, doing a little uh, review, basically. Uh, that is what I had intended. As a matter of fact, I had wanted to uh, more or less catch up on uh, my usual routine since it was disrupted last week because of my um, transportation problems, issues. Um, so, yeah, another unexpected, yeah, event. I've kind of been uh, burning it at both ends, so to tell you the truth, I really haven't been feeling that great. And considering everything, I thought it was appropriate to reevaluate um, my food supply. I'm not going to get into details as far as um, uh, my, my fiscal condition. Frankly, that's <laughs> nobody's business and uh, I do value uh, uh, privacy laws because of, uh, you know, any potential ramifications that might drop up. But anyway, uh, I think it's very important for people to be mindful of uh, the potential hazards they face in consuming things that have no real oversight, um, have no responsible agency um, ensuring that the food supply is indeed safe for general consumption. That being the case, when you have any kind of health issues, it really is appropriate for you to uh, do a little research, try to get updated as far as the quality of the food you're consuming and things like that. Because although the medical profession in this country uh, really doesn't get into nutrition and how it affects overall health, uh, luckily there are individuals that do see the connection and go out of their way to do the research for themselves and for others. Um, I'm very grateful for that. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put a few links in the uh, description section. And uh, actually, I, I ended up subscribing to this person's uh, YouTube channel. Excellent, excellent. I really was tempted to uh, make it a uh, featured channel because I really think his channel is excellent and everybody should um, really keep informed about the issues he gets into. But this is basically, I don't know, it's basic survival and <laughs> it's definitely connects there. So maybe I will make him a, the next featured uh, channel. but. I'm really trying to focus on travel, but I don't know, maybe. He definitely has a place as far as basic survival is concerned. Anyway, um, I often point out my uh, purchases, not just my inventory. Here are just some of the uh,
No, I did not put this in there. I had not mentioned this because this was purchased because of price, not quality. So I didn't bother mentioning. Lean Cuisine I had pointed out as being a healthy choice. Uh, healthy choice I had pointed out, assuming it was also a healthy choice. Um, I have also mentioned Amy's products. I, I can be happy about that one anyway. Uh, apparently that one was a good uh, a good item to uh, mention as far as being a, a healthy uh, alternative to preparing meals yourself. The healthy choice um, the power bowls apparently are all right, acceptable, but their regular selection supposedly is not. Uh, what else did he mention? As far as frozen items are concerned, uh, sap, hold on, I got, I have some notes here, of course, right? Uh, definitely the geek, uh, <laughs> I definitely have, uh, Underlying geek traits, so yeah, I always try to keep notes. Okay, uh, some of the other frozen items that this per oh, yeah. well, whatever. I don't know his name. I just found found this this information this morning, which I completely spent researching all this food options, all these food, new food options I'm getting. Uh, See, other frozen things he gave the thumbs up to, uh, Saffron Road, Real Good, that's for low carb, and uh, Applegate. All right. Generally speaking, he, doesn't like, he does not like frozen foods, but those specific ones, oh, he gave the complete thumbs down to Morningstar, so <laughs> yeah, th there goes my crumbles. Uh, as a matter of fact, I guess I'm going to start learning how to make, uh, prepare uh, sweet potatoes in my rice cooker because apparently rice has gotten a big thumbs down. But I, I've tried that brown rice. I do not like it. Okay. Uh, yesterday I had, before I went ahead and I had gotten this. This is for uh, Randall's. I went there, I was getting things for my yellow rice thing, real easy, you know, like I said, I don't know how to cook, so I was just going to get the yellow rice, that powder you add to it to, well, white rice, the powder you add to it to make it yellow, um, canned corn, I got two can cans of corn. And two cans of these chicken Vienna sausages things. Okay, the corn you can throw in there when you're cooking the rice, but you don't put the Vienna sausages in until after it's finished because that sucker is going to dissolve. You will not see. I mean, it'll be in the mix, but you won't see it. So apparently, you wait until the end until the rice is finished before putting the Vienna sausage in. Anyway, that was my intention uh, yesterday coming back from work. I stopped off at Randall's. I was going to get the stuff to make the yellow rice thing and whatever. Uh, they did not have the powder to make the yellow rice. They have these pre-packaged yellow rice things, which is You bring uh, three and a half cups of water, uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. Oh, olive oil got a big thumbs up, by the way. I'm going to go and buy olive oil. Anyway, um, two tablespoons of olive oil to a boil in a medium saucepan. Stir in Mahatma rice mix, cover, reduce heat, and simmer for 20 minutes. Fluff lightly with fork and serve. 
So apparently this is everything. The rice, the spices, whatever. Uh, I got this one because it's bigger and I figured I can have it as a backup all week. You know, mix it with the corn and the other stuff with it. I got that and I also got the, this smaller pack that uh, says seasoned rice, Spanish rice recipe. So I've got the Spanish, it specifies Spanish rice and then just seasoned rice yellow rice recipe. So I was going to see which one was whatever, eventually anyway. Uh, I guess I'll keep that, but I'm not going to be, oh, yeah. I also got regular enriched long grain rice uh, signature, that's the house brand whatever, at Randall's. But uh, it looks like I'm going to be returning that. Returning this and getting organic, uh, whatever organic version of corn they've got. Returning the house brand garbanzos and kidneys and getting the organic version. I had already gotten organic black beans. I don't know why I stuck to the organic with the black beans, but went for the house brand, but whatever. Um, I'm still going to use canned beans because, yeah, making your own beans is very good and economical and very little house on the prairie, but I have no time for all that. So I'm going to be using the canned beans, but yes, I'll be making sure they're organic from now on. And uh, the same with corn. And I'll see what the heck that tastes like. The Vienna sausages, I don't think there's anything, so, any such thing as organic Vienna sausages, so it's just whatever. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be going to the store and uh, replacing those items I've just mentioned. And what else, what else, what else? And getting avocado, olive oil, and canned salmon. I don't know how healthy that is, if it's healthy at all, but I'm, that's what I'm going to intend to go ahead and get. Uh, I got a couple of uh, sweet potatoes just to get in the habit of having that. Maybe that'll be a new filler for me. I don't know. Uh, plain yogurt, organic plain yogurt, full, not low fat. What else? What else? Uh, stevia or stevia, whatever. It's a sweetener instead of the sweet and low thing I usually get. I'm gonna sing about this stevia. The other sweetener he mentioned was called monk fruit. I don't know. But uh, yeah, and the bread he recommended was Canyon Bakehouse. That's in the frozen section. And as far as how I'm gonna, because I believe I mentioned before the, tro the problem I was having at uh, lunchtime, during lunchtime at work, yeah, and um, trying to get to a grocery store, but having to settle for Mickey D's most of the time, or at least part of the time, half of the time, at least half. And even the salads, I pointed out my dressing, right? Sure, I went ahead and got the... Uh, you know, the kale thing, or the spinach thing, but I put this kind of uh, prepared dressing on it, and let's see what it has, uh, 
water, sugar, red wine, vinegar, vinegar, soybean oil, contains less than 2% of salt, red raspberry juice concentrate, something I can't pronounce, dried onions, spice, poppy seeds, natural flavor, oh, he pointed out natural flavored thing. Natural flavor is not natural. It's just chemicals. That's a marketing thing they do. Yeah. So natural flavor, potassium sorbate, and calcium disodium eta to protect flavor sulfites. Okay, sugar includes 5 grams added sugar, 10%. 10%. That's the daily allotted thing. So just your dressing, you're already getting 10%. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it's the sugar contents that, uh, and the chemicals. And the weed killer. <laughs> I'll put that one in there too. Uh, I'm going to put the frozen section thing. I'll put the Mickey D's thing. And I'll put the weed killer thing in there. Because. Um, yeah there is no real oversight. Responsible oversight. As far as the thing is concerned. So. Yeah. He swears that the organic stuff is. You know safe. Again, I'm not fully convinced of that either, but whatever. Let's go ahead off a of limb and say, well, yeah, sure, whatever. So, I'm going to go, I'm going to replace this stuff with organic stuff. I'm going to get rid of the, the added sugar stuff and uh, try to stick with, if I do the frozen stuff, stick with the uh, the ones he uh, suggested. The almond milk? I don't know. I went for the cheap almond milk. The organic on the Sweden's house brand uh, whole market thing. This thing? Not the two he recommended, but um, it's organic almond milk, filtered water organic almonds, sea salt. Oh, that's good. Uh, he prefers sea salt to regular salt. Uh, Tricalcium phosphate, jellum gum, organic locust bean gum, vitamin A pulminate, argo calciferol, which is vitamin D2, DL alpha, whatever. Anyway, uh, there's vitamin E, vitamin B12 in this thing. So, I don't know, it doesn't look too bad. A little sugar. What do we got with sugar? See, so it doesn't even look so good. Okay. Yeah. He goes through all these things, he, he focuses on the ingredients and goes wild with them. Yeah. Giving his uh, insights and all that kind of stuff. Good channel. That's not really what I was expecting to focus in on. So I don't know if it's going to end up being a featured channel, but I will include uh, at least three of his uh, his videos, the um, links to three of his videos in the description part. Okay, so instead of uh, doing a review, I'm going to do that later, as a matter of fact, because I still have to go. I haven't left yet. I haven't left to run my errands. Oh, look at the shirt. Look at the shirt. See? Okay, this was one of the uh, items I was, I'm planning to include in the inventory thing. Um, anyway, I've done the laundry today, but I haven't really spent the morning researching all these food issues.
And uh, I'm going to go now and replace most of the stuff I purchased last night on my way back from work. And I'm uh, going to get some fresh fruit and try to stay away. Oh, the ice cream. My ice cream. All right. <clears throat> What was wrong with my eyes? Okay, he did mention this, but he d didn't favor it because of something. I, there was so much information. I don't know what it was. But he did mention it, but, but he didn't like it too much. The one he preferred was delicious. Delicious something, whatever. And Rebel. He liked Rebel. That's dairy, but... He was focusing in on the uh, sugar stuff. So he really liked Rebel. Uh, delicious, whatever it is, is dairy free and sugar free, I guess. So he liked that. I thought I had written it down. Maybe not. Oh, I'm sorry. It's called So Delicious. That's dairy free and sugar free. So he really liked that. Um, as far as sugar free is concerned, he seems to favor Rebel. Uh, sweeteners, stevia, and monk fruit. Oh, he gets into uh, extra virgin olive oil. As far as People saying you can't cook with it. That's apparently not true. It has a uh, 400 degree burning point, but that didn't seem to, as far as not being able to cook with it, it come into play. He says to stay away from the, um, the light or extra light olive oil. So he just likes the extra virgin olive oil. He did, oh, he mentioned that most of them out there are not genuine, the olive oils. California Olive Branch is one of the ones he liked, uh, along with Costco's Kirkland, 100% extra virgin olive oil, another one he liked. Lucini, extra virgin olive oil another one he liked and his favorite as as far as uh, finishing olive oil is concerned was something called single estate from from spain it's a thin bottle with a pink label thing but yeah he says that uh most of the ver of the olive oils out there are fake anyway but those are good the ones i just mentioned whatever he does mention some comfort foods. Uh, the pizza he likes is Amy's spinach pizza, Capello's pizza, and uh, cauliflower pizza, whatever. But he likes the cauliflower bread, and he makes his own. He doesn't actually do the ready-made. Yeah, I'm not doing that. So if I go for the pizza, it's going to be those. If I go for the ice cream, I am going to go for the ice cream. It's going to be so delicious. And st I'm not going to toss my own thing, but I'm also not going to eat, eat it for him. <sighs> I'm getting off the ice cream kick for a couple of weeks. I'm going to switch to fresh fruits and uh, yogurt for my desserts. Again, uh, plain organic yogurt. Full, not low fat. I'll do that with the fresh fruits for desserts. The organic popcorn is still a go. I don't know about the, the beverage though. I mean, I read the ingredients on this thing and it seemed to be okay, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm starting to look at green tea again. But now I'm going to have to read it to see if it's really good or good. Uh, the popcorn seems to be okay. I'm going to. Hold off on the, the ice cream for a while, switch to fresh fruit and yogurt. 
the lunch, as far as how I'm going to tackle the lunch thing, because I had bought a power bar, thinking about all this, starting to think about all this thing yesterday. Uh, one of those protein bar things you can get at a convenience store or whatever. And he was saying, or another video was saying, that's, that's BS. You might as well eat a candy bar. I mean, it may not be quite as bad as a candy bar, but practically is. If you're going to do that, just get nuts. Don't even get those protein bars or power bars or meal bars or whatever the heck it is you want to call them. Just stick with nuts. So I'm thinking I'm going to brown bag it from now on for my lunch and just have like nuts. So a lot of tinkering and a lot of unexpected issues still seem to be popping up. So instead of my little review and searching for my uh, backup supplier list, which I still have to do, um, switching, I'm playing with my food supply. So, that's my 26. Okay. Okay. This has already been a full video thing. Um, yeah, I have to take back everything I've said about all my food stuff, with the exception of Amy's and the Healthy Choice Power Bowl thing. Everything else, forget I mentioned it. The Oakley ice cream thing, I'm switching to so delicious, but I'm kicking, again, ice cream is still ice cream, okay? It may be better than the, the regular ice cream, the ones I'm picking or trying to pick, but uh, yeah, fresh food is good. Yogurt, plain yogurt, organic plain yogurt is good. Um, because you still need to replace the bacteria that the regular food supply seems to be damaging or destroying. Oh boy, I tell you. You really got to watch your back. There's no getting around it. Careful what you're consuming because it's making people not well. A lot of, uh, it's unbelievable. Okay, be careful boys and girls. Uh, the water is not fine. <laughs> Read the ingredients. Um, try to find a responsible source of information. Because holy moly, these commercials, that just because they say they're healthy, do not assume they're healthy, okay? Uh, they may, that may be their target audience, the people that are trying to eat healthy and all that, but uh, don't assume that uh, just because they say it's healthy, it's healthy. Read the ingredients. Trying to find a, a reliable source of information and be careful. It is not safe out there. The water is not fine. So watch your back and um, try to be healthy. Okay, we're, we're almost done 30 minutes. Talk to you later, boys and girls.